Hello everybody, Gigi Dragon here with another episode of The Game Prowl, and today we are taking a look at American Truck Simulator, a game about driving semi-trucks while following the laws of the road. Yeah, I gotta be honest, that's not the best razor statement I've ever given a game on The Game Prowl, but I mean, it's accurate, right? Uh, I'll joke it aside, I assure you guys, the game isn't nearly as boring as I made it sound with that. It's, it's actually quite entertaining, and we'll go more into that later, because this is one of those complicated games where I've seen a lot of people who do enjoy the game be unable to describe what makes the game enjoyable. Now the difference between me and those people is I've got two years of game design under my belt so I damn well better be able to explain what makes this game fun, at least to me. Uh, but uh, anyways, before we do that, before we even go into all this business management stuff, let's get a job going and get trucking. Because uh, there's a whole lot of things to talk about and there's also a whole lot of empty lonely Nevada desert roads to, to cross before our next job completes, so yeah. We'll get into the business management stuff uh, and the, the whole truck talking about later. For now, let's just get going so we can talk about the game and then I won't be left hanging and lacking commentary for like a good long while in the middle of the desert. Where is route length? There we go. Let's, let's go with the shortest routes first. That's the longest route. That's the longest route. That's Oh my god, are you serious? There are actually jobs like that? Okay, <laughs> that might be a little bit too short. Let's just jump up a few pages here. There, that looks decent length. Alright, let's take this job so we can talk about this video game. I mean, I could talk about it all day in the menu, but let's be honest. <laughs> we're uh, Once more, as I said before, we're going to be left out in the middle of the desert with not a whole lot to say. So here we are. Welcome. To American Truck Simulator. We're out here with our load, which you can't see because we have the single greatest muffler I've ever seen in my life, unfortunately. What is our load? I, I didn't actually look at what we're transporting. It tends to be a fatal flaw. Okay, we're transporting something white and in a box. Fair enough. Let's just go ahead and get this bad boy into gear and start talking about it. Also turn on the engine. So, what I was, uh, what I was talking about earlier with, like, this whole thing and, like, why this game is fun, to me, it's, it's fun because it's like a fairly unique experience. Like, a lot of the simulators out there are just, I mean, don't get me wrong, they are unique. Things like, uh, you know, Train Simulator and the like, but those games are also horribly just, uh, what's the proper word, I guess just overwhelming? Like those, that's like a two or three man job driving a train is, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. And they just get like thrown in with all these freaking ibs and obs and knobs and buttons and you're just like, what am I even doing with my life? And not only that, but you're operating a train. Trains instinctively follow one rail. And, uh, you know, so there's that. But, uh, like, you know, some of the semi-truck though, it's a bit more relatable. Still absolutely terrifying and very few people actually do it because it's the single heaviest autom automobile in the entire- oh god, I'm, I'm falling backwards. Okay, we uh, have already issued- see what I mean? Look at that tiny slope, that's like 1% grade, if that, a 0.5% grade. And I've already managed to stall my engine because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, this is what making- this is what makes driving trucks interesting. They're super heavy, there's a lot of things you have to think about. Also super long. Let's uh, get ourselves out of this very bad situation here. I know the parking brake's engaged, I need it to be engaged. Go! Okay, there we go. Eh, let's just go ahead and break the law here. Screw stop signs. <laughs> that stop sign just about got me stuck, so uh, it could just go ahead and F itself. But yeah, like, it, it's a more relatable, a more easily understandable simulator, but it's also a, a, a fairly interesting thing. Especially if, if you have a wheel and pedal, by the way. <laughs> it makes the game so much more enjoyable, but that's beside the point. Yeah, it's easily relatable, super unique, and that's that's what really makes it fun to me. That's why I why I find it interesting. Also, of course, it, it, it does have that whole rags to riches style of story that oh so, oh so many games seem to enjoy. Start with zero bucks, and eventually you're managing your entire tycoon of multiple people. We'll talk about the business management side later, or more appropriately, not talk about it because I've never gotten that far in this game or Euro Truck Sim. But uh, so that's. That's basically the essentials of why I find this game fun. As for the primary mechanics of the game, well, I just I just talked about it. You drive a truck, you navigate the highways, you try not to break the law like I did a couple minutes ago. Thankfully, in this game, you actually need a uh, police... Oh, are you pulling out? Good. You stay, you fucking stay in your lane. Yeah. The, in this game, you actually do need police officers like that fine fellow up there to, to catch you breaking the law in order for you to be ticketed. So, uh, I, I also need to gear up. 
So in that way, in that sense, this game also eventually just kind of becomes like tactical breaking the law simulator. Like, there's no cops around here, so I do mean that by the way. We're probably gonna go end up speeding here because 55 miles per hour is really, really slow, and I don't like driving that slowly. Also, that and they completely nerfed the ticket cost in this game, so it is. Uh, yeah, there's that. But ugh, I completely lost my train of thought. This is. Oh, the woes of driving massive trucks. Let's just go. Oh, I didn't clutch a crit. Oh, oh no, this is a 10 speed. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, have I been short shifting this entire time? Whoopsie. Yeah, so it's supposedly to talk about how many transmissions there are in this game. There, There's basically every transmission you could ever want in a, in a driving game. You got, your, you got simple automatic, which is your stereotypical accelerate moves you forward. Brake moves, brake breaks you. If you're stopped, then brake move makes you go backwards. If you're talking with your right hand and driving with your left hand, you tend to get a little wavy, but that's with all transmissions, honestly. Go. Watch it. I almost took out that poor Audi. <laughs> oh shit, speeding offense. The. Who is. Oh, hi. Screw you! Oh god! I have made a terrible mistake. Ooh, that probably made a whole lot of uncomfortable sounds on that microphone. I'm gonna have to edit that. <laughs> uh, anyways, now that we've taken care of that issue. The, uh, what was I talking about again? Yeah, transmissions. So, uh, there's simple automatic. There's real automatic as well, which is a, a bit more... I'd honestly say it's one of the rarest transmissions. Because it's like, that little level where, like, people who drive simple automatic won't use it. But people who drive, who actually would use it, are probably driving manual anyway, because it's more involved. But either way, that is, uh, that is accessible to you. That is your typical, like, you know, drive, reverse, neutral, parking brake, you know, your typical automatic that you actually have. So you have to shift into drive to drive forward, you shift into re reverse, and once more the gas makes you go backwards, etc., etc. That's how that works. Uh, they, they've got manual sequential, which is exactly what you think it is. You, you press the buttons, you shift up and down, it's fairly straightforward, and then of course you got manual and H-shifter, in case you have a clutch and an H-shifter, which uh, I, happen to, I happen to have here, which is quite fantastic. So, you know, they've got all of your, all of your standard transmissions there. <laughs> As you no doubt saw me failing out horribly, the, uh, you do have to be caught by a police officer to break the law and earn a ticket. Also, as is typical with America, you tend to be able to go 5 miles per hour over the normal speed limit, so that's great. Uh, I'm going six. That's dangerous. I have been busted by police officers on the other side of the highway, and yes, it is just as infuriating as you think it is. You can't catch me for speeding over there, I'd like to see you pull me over and try and give me a ticket. Especially after I completely annihilated that police officer earlier. I don't normally do that, but you know, for the sake of theatrics, blood must be spilled when I'm given a ticket like that. Like, the police officer just straight up stuck up on me. He had it coming. He should have expected it. I'm the one with a 27-ton piece of rolling metal here. You got a tiny little crown Victorian. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was a little scared that I fl almost split my trailer there. And there. <laughs> As I said, very large, very heavy, very top-heavy, in fact, vehicles. Makes it uh, quite enjoyable to drive. Quite enjoyable to drive. Also makes for a great background for, like, if, you, if in case you're watching a podcast, Talking with friends, catching up on YouTube videos, that sort of thing. It's a, it's pretty fun in that regard, you know. It's a really, it's a really good, not really background task, but something to supplement with a background task, you know. Something along those lines. But yeah, other than that, you basically drive your truck from point A to point B. That's the primary gameplay again. There's a whole business management side that I've never even touched because. Truth be told, it does take a while to get there. At least for me, I don't know. I'm deathly scared of ever tanking ba taking bank loans. <laughs> My father is a banker, so you see. There's that. But yeah, the, uh, terrified of them. So, for all I know, maybe if you, like, if you're into business management, you probably are no stranger to actually taking, like, bank loans and shit like that. So you can probably get to the manager side, manager side a hell of a lot faster than I've been able to, but there's that. As far as I can tell, you basically, you have garages, you, uh, hello, officer. <laughs> I did not almost break 61 miles per hour, no, of course not. But yeah, you, uh, you basically, you have your garages, you start with one garage, you can upgrade it to a larger one, that you, that way you can store multiple semi-trucks there. 
As soon as you can store multiple semi-trucks there, you can start hiring additional drivers to, uh, well, drive for you. Drive for your company! Earn you some money while you're sitting there doing nothing! Typical business practices, basically. And, uh, so yeah, that's basically how that works. You can get multiple, uh, I don't know what that officer's field of vision is up there. You can get multiple, what's it called? Multiple garages, multiple drivers per garage, depending on how you upgrade them. You also have to, like, manage your drivers. They've got a whole bunch of different stats, I believe. Again, now we're starting to get into the realm that I'm unsure about. I've only barely seen the management side on a Twitch stream once. But, uh, god damn, these officers are everywhere! You're not even a police- you see? You can see his bubble lights in the distance! You get busted by a police officer on the other side of the median. How can he even tell I'm speeding? He does not have a radar gun. Even if he did, Doppler effect would kick in and I'd be having to drive at like 32 miles per hour to not get caught. Ridiculous, man. All these cops are Superman. Every last one. And it is the most infuriating thing. Thankfully, again, they, they nerfed... Initially, when this game first came out, those speeding prices, or those speeding tickets were actually pretty pricey. It was like $1,000 a pop. Now, they're, uh, they're significantly cheaper. They're only like 200 or 300 a pop. I haven't been watching, but I know I was at about $69,000 at the start of this episode, and then I, uh, you know, I got a speeding ticket. I, I molded a cop car for $1,200. <laughs> totally worth it, by the way. And I got speed, caught speeding again, so, you know. Yeah, about $400 sounds about right with that math, I think. I'm trying to commentate and drive a truck at the same time. My math might be a little bit off. Yeah. Anyway, there is, a, of course, a whole, like, open world to this as well. Once you do inevitably end up buying your own truck, which we probably will do at the end of this video, just so I can, like, show off the customization and whatnot, then, uh, you can fully explore the map, which, uh, you know, we briefly saw the map earlier, but here it is. Currently, it is only California and Nevada. Uh, they have announced that they're adding Arizona for free, but, uh, beyond that, it's all gonna be paid, they're saying, so... There's that. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, exactly. Like... My biggest concern is, like, obviously they'll release it in packs, so what if they add in, like, the freaking, what's it called? The, the New England pack, and you buy that without buying the, the Midwest pack and the, the Mountain pack. Basically, all the packs that surround New England. Then it's just like, you're in California, and while you may own New England, you can't get to New England. I have no idea how that's gonna work. I assume they'll be able to find a way? My initial thought was that they were going to have, like, a line of free states across, like, the center of the U.S. that would connect to all their expansions, but, uh, unfortunately, from what I've read on their blog, that does not appear to be the case. So we're going to have to see, wait and see how the DLC works out. Currently, I, I am a pretty big fan of the content. If you do end up buying Euro Truck Sim 2, you will, of course, get a bit more content, but honestly, I just feel like American Truck Sim is just, like, higher quality, I don't know. It feels like there's more going on in the roads and the cities. The cities are a lot closer together, and there's a lot more going on in them. Like, in Euro Truck Sim, there's, uh, you know, they've got two blocks, maybe, in each quote-unquote city that you have to navigate a little bit. In this, uh, in this place, of course, you have to, like, yeah, you got a whole bunch of intersection, intersections, interchanges. Some of the highways cut right through the, uh, the cities. Also, the cities have all their distinguishing features. I've driven across the, uh, the Bay Bridge in San Francisco twice now. Which is pretty sweet. Not the Golden Gate. I believe the Golden Gate is in this game. It'd be silly if it wasn't. I've seen it in the loading screens, but I haven't actually driven across it yet. Only the Bay Bridge. Which is basically the, uh, the discount Golden Gate, I believe, is how it, uh, how it is. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, by the way. I've never actually been to California. I'm just, like, spewing information that I have slowly absorbed over the years. Move! Oh, I'm in that bad spot again. The weight is going to push me backwards. Let's just handbrake on. Uh, shift down a little bit. Third gear. Rev it up. Go! Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. We're in the black hole. We're in the abyss. Handbrake. Rev. 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 Go! Okay. We're gonna. We're actually in some shit here. Um. I have an idea. We're gonna handbrake up. Pull the pedals closer. Oh. Did I stall again? Oh yeah. I let go of the clutch. Duh. No! Amber gone! <laughs> that was a mistake. I thought it was off for a second there. Okay, clutch is in. Stop honking! Okay, so hold brake with left foot. Oh god. Go! Oh my god, I can't do this shit. This is gonna be a little bit of a pickle. 
Oh my god, we did it! Ah. <sighs> yeah, you're gonna have to deal with that a lot, by the way. <laughs> that is, uh... That is really hard. Even in automatic, that's gonna happen. If you ever get caught on any of those off-ramps, you're gonna have to know how to manage it. Basically, you have to brake and accelerate at the same time. Now, ordinarily, that wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I'm driving with clutch. And I don't have three feet. So, yeah. It's, it's pretty freaking tricky. Yet again, just one of the reasons why it's, it's actually pretty fun to drive around in this game. And get there. Uh, but yeah. I mean, that really is most of this game. It's, again, it's, it's a weird game by any and all definitions. It, let's get into gear here. Any and all definitions, it really shouldn't be that fun, but it, it really is surprisingly. Because again, it's just like, it's that unique experience that you just, it's not too alien that you'll have to spend a very long time understanding. You really can just sort of drop right in and start driving. But it's also still unique enough and interestingly enough just simply due to the fact that you're driving a massive top-heavy freighter. And as we'll discuss later, there are in fact like more difficult trucks you can uh, you can start driving. Here's something interesting. Apparently a whole bunch of the like the Euro truck better. Oh shit, wrong gear. <laughs> well, there goes that plot point. Not plot point, but video point. Apparently, like, a whole bunch of Euro Truck veteran simulator, or, or just Europeans in general, didn't know this for the longest time. They had to, like, throw it into, like, an update and stuff like that. But, uh, they didn't know you could turn right at a red light, which is something that I was unfamiliar with. In Europe, apparently, you can't turn right on a red light. Which is interesting. I guess I understand why, but... Yeah, just one of those cultural differences that I learned about while playing this game. This game is enriching my cultural experience. Look at that. That's what this game's doing to us. It's, it's, it's a great game. It's a great game. Again, it's probably... Well, maybe not again. I, this is the second take of this video. I don't actually know whether I said this before or not. But the... Uh, like it, if you're not into driving games, you're probably not going to enjoy this. I am going to say that straight up. Because most of the enjoyment in this game either comes from the management side, which I don't even know if there are a whole lot of people in video games who enjoy management, but I'm sure there are a few. But it also comes from the whole driving aspect, and again, you have to you have to enjoy it, or I think at least that you have to enjoy driving a car before you can even enjoy like driving a massive 200 thousand pound vehicle. I don't actually know how heavy these vehicles are. I think this thing's like. I don't even know. I don't look at the at the weight loads. I just look at the money and I'm just like, ooh, cha-ching, cha-ching, and I just get right in there. Let's double shift, screw it. Let's go crazy. Shift right on up to fifth gear, why not? Ginger Dragon's gone mad. Completely and totally. Alright, looks like we're approaching our destination there on the GPS, you can see. Uh, in the- nice braking. That was- that was a- oh god. That was a true Californian stop right there. Aside from the part where I ended up just stopping in the middle of the, uh, of the roadway, but, you know, that's, that's beside the point. Completely and totally. There are a few other things you have to bear in mind in the game, of course. There is damage. The, uh, you know, you can damage your load, which obviously will reduce your payment, because you just destroyed, like, 10,000 tomatoes when you crashed into that police officer. Did I actually take any damage in that tra cra crash? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I took 13% damage. Rip. Rip everything. Rip the run. Oh well. I'll be fine. What was that? I don't even know what I was delivering. I'm sure it wasn't explosive or fragile or anything. I hope. But, uh, yeah. So there's that. There's also, you have to, as you can see on the GPS there on the top, there's also fuel and, uh, the sleep. The sleep is that blue meter with the bed. Fuel is obviously the fuel with the, uh, the yellow. And those are really the big things I have to manage while doing this. So you can't just truck across California and Nevada without sleeping. You will have to sort of plan your route accordingly. Eh, let's not shift to 7th. I'm sure some people are curious as to how I'm shifting from 6th to 7th on an 8th shifter. It, they, basically, they have like this little button you press. So you'll see I'm, uh... Oh, let's come to a stop here first. Like, I'm in 1st gear. Then you press the button, then you're in 7th gear. It's ba it basically just sort of switches it. So you got 1 through 6, then you've got uh, 7 through... 12? Yeah, I think it's 7 through 12. That's, that is in fact how math works. 
you know, when you press the button. And on some of the bigger trucks with 18 gears, then you press the button again, and or you press a different button, the one right next to the first button probably, and you'll get gears 13 to 18, so. Simple enough system there. Is anyone looking? Can I run this? I I don't think you can run... Can you run? Hang on, let's see. There's no police officers, right? I, yeah, no. They don't have to be police officers to catch you for red, for red light running. Which is disappointing! It seems like it's only speeding that matters. But, oh well. <laughs> you can only tactically break the law with speeding, as far as I can tell. Red lights, or anything like that. Let's not miss our destination here. The, uh, I almost did. Fun fact. All that nonsense, unfortunately, is not the case. So here is something new about, uh, American Truck Sim to Euro Truck Sim. As I'm sure you can tell, it's very similar to anybody who's experienced this game before, or Euro Truck before. But, uh, they actually have a new type of loading. So if you recall, in Euro Truck Simulator, it was either where do you need it, or you just skip the delivery and missed out on the, on the experience. So where do you need it? Oh my god, that's a nightmare and a half is basically you have to back the load in 9 times out of 10. Or, hell, maybe even 10 times out of 10. I've never seen one where you don't. But you have to back in the load, which as I'm sure you can imagine, is very tricky. But that's where a lot of the fun comes in here. And, uh, but now, in American Truck Simulator, they added Let's Play It Safe, where you literally just sort of drive the truck in and you park it. For now, let's, uh, let's do Where Do You Need It, because I hate myself. I don't actually pick this option too often, because again, I generally use this game for like background noise. How the fuck am I gonna do this? Oh god, I'm gonna have to shift to another view. Let's let's go third person here. There are a whole bunch of views, by the way. You got like top down, top on top, side view, right outside the window, bumper cam, a, a whole bunch of them. If it sounds like I haven't memorized them yet, it's because I haven't. Because there's a lot. All right, let's shift this bad boy to reverse. Oh lordy, this is gonna hurt. Oh, wait, wrong way, wrong way. You see, this is the difficult thing, because we're not pulling the trailer anymore, we're pushing it. Backwards. Oh boy. Let's just go this way. Of all the freaking loads, it had to be this one, right? Ooh, are we gonna go steep enough? Yeah, we're good. Good, we're good. We're not good, we're not good, we're not good! We're about to hit a palm tree! Woohoo! Oh, uh, I have managed to get my truck stuck on a, uh, my mat. I have managed to get my truck stuck on a gas station once before. It, like, ended up, I'll probably play, because I believe I recorded it, it, ended up getting, like, wrapped around the gas, the gas station sign. It was, uh, it was a weird one, to say the least. Ooh, I think I missed it. Uh, yeah, I definitely missed it. Pull it forward. I fucked it up. Oh, wrong way. Look at this guy, he's freaking out! <laughs> I'm driving this shit one hand! Because I'm navigating the camera with the mouse, which is just weird. Alright, let's just straighten her out as much as possible. Go! Alright, let's try and get the timing on this right this time. Uh, is that the right direction? Yeah. Just mind the palm tree! Oh dear lord, I've made a terrible decision with this. As I said, I normally just pick Let's Play It Safe because I am just awful at this. Whole shindig. This whole backing in of the trailer. Literally the worst. But, you know what? Oh no. This is looking sketchy. That's a wall. That is most definitely a wall. That's a wall. Hang on. Oh shit, the wall's helping! Oh no, the wall's hurting. The wall's hurting. We can't pull that off. Oh my. Come on, baby. Almost got it. <laughs> At this point, the load has already been heavily damaged. I'm not much bothered if we damage it a little bit more. Even if it does annihilate my experience and reward. Come on! Eh. Not even close. We're only like halfway there, but it's a step. Now we can just Austin Powers this shit. If I don't stall my freaking truck like an idiot. Oh, 
hopefully we can Austin Powers this. Again, it's tricky. Whoop. My wheel was not very happy with that. So we're gonna need to try and like pull it this way, I think. Oh, the hell with it. I quit. <laughs> uh, tolerable. Yeah, that tends to happen. Oh my god, that was a massive penalty, actually. Whew. I lost to all of my experience. <laughs> oh god, yeah, that's why you don't get road ragey and crash into police officers. <laughs> Definitely don't do that. Uh, anyways. That is basically the main gameplay of uh, American Truck Simulator. There is a bit more to it. Again, there's a whole business ma business management side. That's the driving portion, though. That's the part that I care about the most. There is, of course, also a little bit of truck customization, which I think we'll get into here. I lost more money than I gained. Rip. Anyways, let's head over to the bank. As I said, I'm fucking terrified of bank loans, but screw it. Let's just pick up a couple loans here, because I want to buy a truck. Take it. Basically, you, you, pay, you take a loan, I can currently borrow $400,000, we're just gonna run away with 150 Because... You know, money, basically. I like money! Then you can go to a truck dealer, in this case we're gonna go to... Uh, is it Peterbilt? No. Go on to Kenworth. Oh right, you can't buy online. Visit! Yes, let's go. And then you can just sort of go through these and, well, pick the trucks you want to buy. Do note the available from, because uh, a lot of these trucks you can't buy until you level up a little bit. Thankfully, the truck I'm interested in is this one. The cool looking one. As I'm sure, I, I'm not too much into trucks, but it has been noted that there's no Mac or I believe International is the other big North American truck company. There's no Mac or International trucks, unfortunately. As I understand, there are some licensing issues, but they've got Kenworth and Peterbilt. And, I mean, I don't know. I just really like this truck. <laughs> the really big ones with the f big and flat noses. I don't know, something about them. I like them. So, we can just buy straight up, or we can just we can customize it a little bit. There's a, a surprising amount of customization. But uh, for now, let me just quickly... I do want to upgrade the engine. Because some of these trucks start off pretty freaking slow without an engine upgrade. So, I do want to slap that in there. A whole bunch of upgrades. A lot of performance upgrades and a lot of visual ones as well. You get a new color. Crimson red. I like it. Uh, wine red. I like it a bit more though. It's a bit more my style. A whole bunch of body parts you can add to it. Well, enough. Get a, get a $200 metal deflector on there. Why not? Add some fender guards. Sure. Slap them off. Oh god, take those off, please. No. How do I take them off? I don't actually know how to take them off. Oh dear. No, that's not really doing it. That's not doing a whole lot. I change these? Nah, it's air filters. But yeah, there's a little bit of customization to be done as well. Not quite as much as Euro Truck, but that's because in Euro Truck there's like a whole DLC for like in cabin accessories. Like, you get friggin' hula ladies and stuff like that. In here, you can still only get like the fucking sun shields. I don't know if I want that, because I haven't actually been blinded by anything yet. You can get some extra mirrors, I'll double it. Double or nothing! But yeah, there's a little bit of customization in there, as you can see. So, there's our price. Let's buy this car. Boom. And there we go. Now I own my own semi-truck, and I am in a freaking waterlog of debt. How unfortunate. But yeah, there you go. There's semi- or there's, uh, there's American Truck Simulator. Again, if you're not really into, uh, that was a lot of popping. Wow. <laughs> If you're not really into racing games, you or driving games in general, you're probably not going to enjoy this one a whole lot, but if you are into it, check it out sometime, you might be surprised. Driving a semi-truck has never really been so much fun before. And I mean that quite literally, because 18 wheels of steel was apparently awful. Anyways, that'll be all for today. Thank you all very much for stopping by. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more, and I will see you all later.